Hi, and welcome to episode 33 of M1 Yarns and the Michigan Makers podcast. I'm Jamie, the dyer behind M1Yarns.com. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back and thank you for returning. If you're a new viewer, welcome to this mostly knitting slash yarn dyeing podcast. Um, you can find me everywhere on the internet at M1 Yarns. And uh, don't mind me while I'm rubbing in this lotion bar. This is actually on my website. This is the Kid Gloves lotion bar. It's organic, preservative free. And um, you just rub it on and rub it in. Rub it on and rub it in. Say that fast. But as I sat down to record, I was like, oh my gosh, my hands. My hands are really dry year round. Um, I don't know if it's from yarn dyeing or just washing my hands a lot or the weather, but this is the only thing that really helps. Okay, so now that we are properly moisturized, oh, and let me just say this comes in, nope, the blooper reel is starting already. <laughs> This comes in fragrance-free or grapefruit. Oh, I think I do have a few gingerbread left in the shop. This is the fragrance-free and honestly, it's so delightful. It's shea butter, beeswax. I mean, it's just all natural and I have sensitive skin. Enough about the lotion bar. If you're interested, go shop on the website. What am I wearing? Let's start with that. I'm wearing my Wild Posy Pullover by B Mandarins. That's her brand name. She's Her name is Melody Hoffman. And I'm actually, I know I said this in the last episode, I was going to cast on the other version of this, which doesn't have this lace detail. It has more texture, but I didn't cast it on yet. I think I'm going to cast it on later today, fingers crossed. I have the yarn, the pattern printed and like my size circled everywhere and all that jazz. So I am officially ready to cast on. But um, I finished this a few weeks ago and I, I just, I love it. I've gotten so much wear out of this pullover. Um, I have a whole finished object video about it. You can find on my channel if you want more details. So I won't bore you with that here. Let's see. We have a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. New, new, new. First off, let me talk about something that is about to drop in the shop. By the time this video is released in a couple days, this will have been added to the shop. Um, I thought it would be really fun. Oops. Hold that thought. Okay, I'm back. I thought it would be really fun to make some nice spring shawl kits. And Andrea Mowry's Birds of a Feather shawl, I think is just so gorgeous. It's fingering weight held, um, not held with, scratch that. It's fingering weight yarn and mohair, not at the same time, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I'll insert a photo of the pattern here, of the, her sample photo. But I've created some kits. There's like, I want to say 15 options in the shop. This is one of them. This combo. Oh, we got a little tie sticking out. This combo. This is the mohair. This is the Scottish Heather with Grapes of Wrath. So you get two skeins of the fingering weight one skein of the mohair. I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorite color combos from the shop um, in case you want to jump over there and snag one for yourself. But the kit comes with the pattern. I love this earthy one. Um, and I think it's just a, it's actually a great project to knit while you're traveling. So this is kind of fun. I love this one. Yeah, so that's new to the shop. 
So check that out if you are interested in knitting a shawl. Like I said, the kit does come with the pattern on me. And I think it's um, somewhat beginner friendly. There's a little bit of lace work in the pattern. Um, I've seen so many great projects that people have made with this pattern. And so yeah, that's new to the shop. Um, let's see. I do have a really big announcement I'm going to share here first, but before I do that, I'm going to show you what I'm, what I've been knitting on. So in the last episode, I talked about how I wanted to knit a, um, like a stuffed animal from this book. I was going to knit this fox for my mom for Mother's Day. <laughs> By the time I decided to make this for her and order the yarn, and it got here from, I ordered it from Jimmy Bean's Wool. Um, I, that gave me about two and a half weeks to knit the fox and all the access accessories, the dress, um, a coat, although I knit a different, um, I, I knit like a little shrug instead of this one. The bag, um, she's wearing some knickers, and I might knit some shoes, see how the mouse is wearing some shoes, but the fox and the dog are not. So it's all kind of, oh, I knit this shrug for her. That's what I knit. Um, okay, so that gave me two and a half weeks to knit, seam, stuff, and ship, because my mom lives in a different state. <laughs> Well, I really wasn't sure I was going to be able to do it. I did it. Let me walk you through. Well, so I still have seaming, stuffing, and shipping to do. But I have knit everything except the shoes. I can't decide if I should knit shoes. I want to say because does a fox wear shoes, but really does a dog or a mouse wear shoes? That is an interesting philosophical question. Anyway, I might, I might still knit some shoes. It depends on how the next few days go. But I have all the parts made. So she's got a little messenger bag. I need to seam this up so it kind of looks a little bit janky right now. But I've kind of blocked everything just to seam it. She's got this I-cord strap. So there's going to be a little button here. You can see what this looks like on here. It's this. Um, so she got the messenger bag, the bloomers, and I used the yarn that it calls for, which is, oh, I said this in the last episode. How do you pronounce this yarn? Uh, let me just find the label. Isn't that easier? Yes, I don't know. So this yarn is used for the body and this yarn is used for all the accessories. It's like a cotton, what is it? Oh, it's mercerized cotton. And this one is cotton acrylic. And I wanted to use the exact yarn that's called for in the pattern. Well, so let me walk you through each piece. These are the knickers. And there's like a little gap. So you put a button there and then the fox's tail pokes through that. These are so cute. Then this is her little, and her name is Charlotte the Fox. This is the little shrug. Got a nice little pico edge and her dress and oh that doesn't oh that's the yarn i lost a game of yarn chicken um it says you only need one ball of this you know whatever color you use for the dress but that's how much i have left and i have about 20 rounds left of the length um, and then 
I'm gonna add some buttons to the back. But isn't that cute? And then as for the body, this is a hot mess because I just have um, like tails hanging out everywhere. So you have to get stuffing, which I have ready to go. This is the tail. Everything is blocked. I need to seam it up and stuff it and then like attach all the body parts together. The tail, this is the head. I'm gonna sew on a nose and eyes and then ears, arms. All these parts alone just look a little crazy. Legs, I know this looks really long so if you look at the leg, this is the body. It's actually a pretty big stuffed animal. If you get a, get a feel for how big it is. The body, you're gonna seam in the back. So all of this is intarsia and obviously knit flat, not a fan, but I wasn't sure how much I was gonna love this project, but number one, I'm knitting it for my mom which is like the only person in the world that I would knit flat for. And number two, um, it's just such a cute project that I'm really enjoying it. The other thing I was gonna say about Yarn Chicken, this um, orangey yarn, I ran out of, I had to order more. So my commentary on the pattern is that she under, estimates or somehow I used more than called for on the dress and the body parts orange yarn and the yarn for the dress I ordered more of it's on its way I'm hoping it gets here it'll be here in two days which will give me about four days before I have to ship this off to my mom to make it in time for Mother's Day so I don't know why I, nobody else on Ravelry's notes indicated that they had to order more yarn for the body or the dress. <laughs> That's just my personal problem. I don't know. But um, I will do a whole finished object video talking in detail about all this stuff because I won't bore you with it anymore. But Overall, I would say I've loved this project so far. I'm really looking forward to seaming it, stuffing it, and shipping it off to my mom. So this is what has really been consuming my knitting time because I was like on this self-imposed deadline. And so thank you all who sent me comments after the last podcast episode about how supportive you were and how you were confident that I could make this for my mom in time for Mother's Day. And now I just can't wait to be done seaming, stuffing, and all that good stuff. So, um, let's see. Okay, so let's talk about the big announcement. Oh, hold that thought, I have to get my notes. I have been thinking about adding this to the shop for a very long time, and the time has never been right. And now, for whatever reason, I'm ready. I am going to have a quarterly yarn subscription in my shop starting well it's dropping this weekend um, probably right around the time this video comes out and there are options because I love options but I really thought that this would be a fun way for people who either love to knit socks shawls or like a stripey or fady fady is that a word faded fade sweater um, this is going to be a quarterly yarn subscription and there are going to be extra goodies in the box. They will ship in early January, early April, early July, early October. So if you sign up now, you'll get your first box in early July. And in your box, you'll get three skeins of sock yarn. And I will be posting by quarter and letting people know the um, cutoff date for signing up for that quarter. Or 
you can sign up for a year and it will be July of this year through June of next year. There'll be two options, either um, a BFL version, which is Blueface Lester. It'll be 75% Superwash BFL and 25% Nylon or a Yak version. And that is 70% Superwash Merino, 20% Yak, 10% Nylon, which will create, it's like a gray base. So it'll create richer, deeper colors. And I think the Yak is a little bit more luxurious. Some people really love BFL for like, it's more towards the rustic end of the spectrum. So it's all about kind of personal preference. So you can pick from either. I will post all the details about yardage, price, all that good stuff on my website. And if you sign up for a year at a time, you will get a discount. These will be one of a kind colorways. And when you receive a, a quarterly box, the three skeins in that box will be each unique, but complementary. So if you were to use them in like a three color shawl or a faded sweater or any sort of project where they're used together, they would be cohesive, if that makes any sense. So they will be surprise colorways. They will be one of a kind. They will be extra special. And I've been wanting to do this for a long time to kind of cre um, create more unique colorways in ways that are fresh and always new and exciting for my customers. Um, the kits will also come with pattern suggestions. There will be a quarterly Zoom for people who order the kits and as well as a Ravelry group. So we can like share our kits, share what we do with each kit. Um, photos, discussion, ideas, things like that. So that will have dropped, if I get all my um, plans together, by the time this episode drops. So stay tuned for that. That's new and exciting. And I think it is something you will really love. All right, back to what is on my needles. I did need a little bit of a break from knitting the fox, which I just showed you. And I think last episode I talked about this, but I'm knitting the Cozy Classic Raglan by Jessie May. This is in yarn from Earl Grey, Earl Grey Fibers, Earl Grey Fiber Company. This is her label. I bought this at Rhinebeck 2019. This is her Darjeeling sock base in the colorway Moth Wings. It would help if I showed the yarn. Held with my Surrey Silk Street base in the colorway Latte. And I'm gonna make this short sleeve, which sounds a little crazy to have a Surrey alpaca short sleeve sweater, but I like cozy, but sometimes short sleeve. So you get like a little bit of breezy with a little bit of cozy, if that makes sense. If you live in Michigan like me, you kind of understand the weather is schizophrenic. Anyway, so this is how it's going. And I just split for the sleeves. I've got my SOS cords in here. I can... These, if you're not familiar with these, these are in the shop. I will link to a video on how to use these cords, but they make trying on your top down sweater super easy. Um, what was I gonna say about this? <laughs> so I've actually got one sleeve on the orange version of the cords and one sleeve on the black. They, um, this is the light version of the cord, which is good for US 7 and smaller. And the cords come in both these colors. And since I'm gonna make it a T, I think I'm just gonna do like maybe pearl a row and then knit a row and bind off 
these sleeves so they're like really basic i don't know if i want to do a rib edge on the sleeves but that really means that all that's left is the body so this should pretty much fly so i am i just love having like a basic mindless project and this is definitely fitting the bill when i finish this i'm going to cast on another one of these minus the lace which is the oh there's like the luna version and the flora and i can't remember which is which i think the lace is the flora anyway you'll have to check out the pattern so that's going to be next up on the needles and other than that i really haven't been knitting on anything else because i've been focused on these things i have not really been listening to any audiobooks lately but i have been binging a few really great netflix and nick netflix and knit shows um bridgerton I totally binged in like three days. Um, I just started Downton, Downton Abbey. Love it. Um, the Ultimatum on Netflix. Hot mess of dating drama. Um, let's see what else. I got all caught up on Good Girls. So the Netflix has been rolling. So now I'm almost in need of a new show so if you have any um ideas comment below well thanks for joining me for another episode until next time i hope your knitting is going well let me know what you're knitting on and i will catch up with you next time all right bye